And so we are arriving at our last stop of the day. We're gonna check out the Killing Caves Temple and a Bat Cave where bats fly out in the evening. But the scooter was too heavy to carry me up the hill, so I had to walk. I'm really sorry. Oh. I'm really sorry for that. But you gotta be angry to the, for the scooter. We did it though, I did it. Yes, I'm really proud and of you. And the scooter did it. Uh, nobody warned us, nobody. No. Hat. Okay. okay. That means we're almost there now. Also, you gotta remember that uh, the other people had it a lot worse than yeah. you. A lot of people, they walked all the way up. Most people just park down there. Yeah. But um, I guess the small tuk-tuks can't do this either. Probably not, huh? Mm -hmm. Hello. Uh, no, not right now. Okay, maybe later. <laughs> maybe afterwards, we'll yeah. see. Wow, that's a nice view actually. I guess that's worth a little stop. Oh, cool mountain. Ah, that is a cool mountain and a cool view. Oh shit. Somehow my flip flop got stuck in the, in the stone. Man, I can't stand in the sun. Man. So, <clears throat> in Cambodia it is impossible to not touch on its dark history. And here, we're gonna visit some caves that were used as an execution center for the Red Khmers during their, their four years of power. And here are some sculptures depicting things they did. That's not nice. No. That's brutal, oh my god. They were very brutal. They did, after all, succeed in killing 20% of the population in four years. Which is crazy. Are we going in the wrong direction? I'm not sure here. No, it did have an arrow. There's Can someone you hold else this? coming. Yeah. I think people are just already coming out of there. Uh -huh. Or did you think it was a circle? I don't know what I thought. <laughs> yeah. And I read somewhere that they would decapitate people and it would fall down into the cave from the top, from here, down here maybe. skulls. Wow. Yeah, some people, they, they fall down from the hill to the bottom, some people are not there. Mm -hmm. They take more time, yeah. about one day or two days after death. Yeah. Wow.
So these are yeah, these bones and skulls of people who died here in this cave. Bones and skulls, it just, you know, like the thought that all those were people. All the people in there, they were at one point alive until they got murdered in this cave. Yeah. That's quite crazy. So what exactly did they do in this cave? Like, why is it called Killing Cave? Because they used it for the executions, or for some of the executions, from what I understood. And I think they were decapitating people. The top and it, the, the head's skulls would fall down into the cave. Um, so from up here, I think they pushed people down. Uh, Before they killed them? No, they would what? push down and then I think it was just to see. Yeah, they were laying there until they died. I'm not sure about that, but I feel like I've seen a picture of this place some time, a long time ago. Yeah. But that was the explanation then. It's crazy uh, what happened here. Uh, and it's hard to put it onto a video as well, I don't know. Okay, let's get out of this one. Okay, so we kind of got it confirmed by listening to another guide. This is what he did. He took the people here. And then they pushed him down. I don't know if this is Or maybe this is not the hole though. Because this one doesn't seem to be open down there. No. Hmm. Okay, this was not the one, but the one you saw earlier. There maybe, yeah. They would do that for anyone who was considered a traitor or counter-revolutionary. Oh, so is so beautiful here. The contrast is haunting. Don't hear too much about Cambodia in a positive way as well, because like history like this also Makes puts a place a, really dark, puts a layer on it. Yeah. So of course, it's what people mostly associate with Cambodia. Yeah. Wow. Also, don't have the sun on your head. This is perfect. Good. Yeah. Yeah. This is beautiful. This is history in all honor. It's important to remember, but this is also something I think Cambodia deserves credit for. It's beautiful views. So, I couldn't go on the scooter again. So I hiked up the mountain, but Denise is waiting for me. It's another viewpoint, the other side. I was stopping over and over again and I was oh, like, yeah. no, no. <laughs> but this is not the temple. No. It's just not what we thought we would end up here. No. Actually. Man, this is a nice view though. Yeah. Wow. 
Do you see the monkeys downstairs? Yeah, down there as well. Yeah, yeah. Gonna show you when we go down again. I think the scooter died again. Yeah. I was, yeah, I was rolling in here. <laughs> we'll see. Well, down won't be a problem. I just hope we will get back into town. <laughs> well, I guess then we would have to call them to pick us up. I guess so. <laughs> the scooter. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We didn't rent the uh, most powerful beast in the history of scooters. No, maybe not. But man, this view. Look at this temple the temple down there and the rice view, fields everywhere. Oh, man. This is very nice. Uh, I don't know where the temple is. Looks like some type of temple over there, but... Yeah, man. Ah, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Oh, that was a beautiful view. Let's see if we can find a temple as well. No, thank you. Okay. Oh, that's a nice pagoda at least. Yeah. It's not what I thought we would get to. No, it's not what we're gonna get to. Oh, wow. Look. An old oh, artillery yeah. thing. I guess this also had military importance for the Red Khmer's. Oh. Mm. Behind, yes. Oh, this is a nice pagoda. Let's see. We can see it from here. Hmm. Not really. How do we get to that? Temple. Mm -hmm. You see it? It's that golden thingy there. Yeah. Huh. It's confusing because nobody, like I thought we were there earlier already, but nobody wanted me to stop there and park no. the, the, the scooter. Hmm. Oh. Maybe tourists are not allowed to go there? Maybe actually they don't want tourists to run around there. Yeah, because they didn't seem too nice to people down there. The monks and people sitting around? Yeah. I had a chat with them. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh. They welcomed me to Cambodia. Oh, wow. Okay, I maybe it was just me who thought they were actually just helpful. I'm not sure. Oh, they were nice. Yeah. Can we get around there? Maybe. And then around? Maybe. Can I have a look? But then we'll get out there. And yeah. We'll go a, a proper path, huh? Well, maybe there. There is some type of... I think that looks like a little store, doesn't it? Yeah. We can try. We'll try. Let's see if it works. Okay, so here we're getting to the temple. It is possible. Oh, wow. Another cool view, and I hear monkeys in the trees. Yeah, there are so monkeys in the trees here. Yeah. You can hear them jumping around. This one's sitting there as well. So. Keep your belongings close. Oh. 
Should we take off our shoes? Huh? Probably. What? Your shoes? Oh. Ah, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. I guess we don't need to take off our shoes. Wow. Beautiful Khmer temples. Absolutely beautiful Khmer temples. I've said it before and I'll say it again, but Cambodia is absolutely beautiful. Yeah, it's a big surprise actually. Yeah. I really hope the music in the background isn't copyrighted, <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see when I upload this video. The other monkey was like that. <laughs> well, I think it's time for us to head down, huh? Uh, our scooter is in here. Yeah, true. <laughs> You know whose car car is this? Whose car? Huh? The car? Because our scooter is there. You can wait over here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Great spot to park. Why did they tell me to park here then? That's a good question. We won't be too late for the bat cave now. Nah, we still got time. Well, everyone is still up here. Yeah, that's true. It's fine. Yeah, I'm moving the car right now. It's only half past four, so we're all good. Okay, let's get down. Secure a spot for the last stop of today before it's time to head back home. Uh, the Bat Cave, which has nothing to do with Batman to do. Nothing with Batman to do, but yeah. Let's head down. <laughs> 